Yo, how's it going, Skittle Squad? This is Kelvin here, and today we are back at it again with another Dungeon Quest video. This time, the brand new update just came out, the Canal, and I am ready to show you how to beat it. And of course, in the video, I'm going to purchase new cosmetics and show you if it's worth buying as well, and hopefully you guys will enjoy. Before I begin, smash the like button, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those notifications. And without further ado, let's jump straight to it. All right, guys, before we hop into the dungeon, of course, we have a brand new lobby. You guys have probably seen it already if you ever already hopped into Dungeon Quest. It is beautiful, gorgeous, and it is a huge upgrade from our old one. This is a vast one. I haven't fully explored the entire map yet. Everything is still here and more so. But forget that. You guys can probably explore this new lobby yourself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the brand new cosmetics so you can figure out if it's worth purchasing. As you guys can see, there is a Galaxy Warrior set, something that's really space-like, like an astronaut or an alien. Then we have the Soul Harvest set. He's pretty much looks like a moose right now. And of course, we have some really, really nice enchantments. I'm going to put up both set and kind of model it for you guys so you guys can see if you want to buy it yourself. Alrighty, so the first cosmetic is the Soul Harvester and his Tormented Blade. It is a beautiful blade, even though I'm not too crazy about the armor. I really think I look like a moose or someone is a little too green and that overcharge enchantment as well really gives the glow making this one of the most flashy armors i've ever seen it brings along this green aura looks like you're a little poison which is also pretty nice i guess and here we are with the galaxy warrior yes the space hero the space cowboy i actually love this one right here it has a great coloring and the sight comes from the cosmetic leak that we've seen earlier in the week and of course, it's the Cosmo Enchantment. Brings a little rainbow out there. Really kind of seems like a Skittle Squad color, right? So let me know in the comment section down below which of the new cosmetic is your favorite and which one do you think you're going to buy. But I better hop into a dungeon soon. You guys came to find out how to beat the brand new dungeon. All right, Sasa, are you ready to go? I'm ready. Okay, so as you can see guys, we are on Samurai Armor, Samurai Weapons. We have not gotten any new skills to use at all, no new armor, even though we do have some. We have beaten this dungeon before, and we're going to teach you guys how to beat it as you are using only Samurai stuff. So let's get this dungeon started. Let's go. Alright, so I am the Festa Warrior here, so I'm going to spin on in and try to grab all the aggro from the bosses. Well, not the bosses, I mean the mobs. And we're going to spin around here and use our speed to our advantage. Of course, we do have 200k HP. A ton of HP so that we can take a hit or two. Because in this map, the canal, we are expecting a lot of damage from the mobs. Especially the bosses too. But the first boss here is pretty simple. Like pretty self-explanatory. He's going to do a lot of stripes. There's a lot of boogers. He summons minions. And yeah, he shoots beams. I guess it's not that simple. But definitely be careful with that minion and the stripes. Those are the two most dangerous things about this boss right? The minions follows you around. and can easily one-shot anybody with even 200k HP. And of course, the stripes are a little buggy, a little glitchy. Hard to avoid. Let's see. The, oh, there it is. Uh-oh. Okay. How did you do there? You did okay? okay? It looks like she avoided the damage to your pineapple. So watch out, the minions. I have aggro on the minions. No, she has aggro on the minions. Run away, run away. Okay, so she's baiting the minion away, so I get a little bit... Okay, I took a booger right there. So she's baiting the minions away, and she did that successfully. Let's go back and do a few spins here. If you do get aggro on the minion, just like Samurai Pellets, bring it away from your teammates. Bring it away and let your teammates do their thing. And I'm going to go back and finish the boss off. And this is the first blind intersection you need to be worried about. If you run straight on in, you're probably going to kill yourself or maybe kill your teammates in the back. So choose one person, run straight in, bait out these beams, and take a left or a right. And now your teammates can come on in safe and sound. And we're going to bait these mobs to the back and bait out the beams so your beams don't actually end up killing your teammates, yo! Easy peasy right there. And the first group, they also have beams. Wow. When you have narrow hallways, tunnels like these, you gotta watch out because those beams means it's really hard to avoid. So I'm gonna grab the aggro here, bait up the beams to the back, and let my teammates do their damage. Now, this group in front is pretty self explanatory. They're pretty much all warriors. There's no beams to watch out for. They're just really, really fast. But since you just came from Samurai Palace, you probably have a faster skill to outrun them. So, this is an easy peasy one. 
as you can see guys we are playing on a warrior and a mage and it's it's a good thing we can you can pretty much see what you need to do what role you should take and the second boss is also the toughest boss that i've seen so far he has this really rare mechanic where there's a red sword on top of your head he summons that and you gotta run to a safe area if you don't your teammates going to die so Make sure you see a red sword. When you see a red sword, look for that blue safe zone and run straight to it right away. I have the blue. I have the... Oh my gosh, I have the red sword. Stay in the safe area until it disappears. So just in case you don't end up killing your teammates. And watch out for that one right there too. The four tri stripes. No, not the stripes. Strikes? Yeah, he's throwing something out. You gotta watch out for that. Because if you get hit, it's like an explosion. It blows up and uh, you and your teammates can die. I just oofed right there. Did I take a stripe? I have no idea. It's really weird. It's just so much damage. You're gonna need to heal. You're gonna need to heal Pineapple. You have it. Pineapple, you have it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, let's hope she stays in there. And I'm gonna go in and finish up. Watch out for those strikes. Avoid that. And then the stripes. Wow. This guy is not easy. <laughs> got me healed up okay so we have six minutes we're still pretty good you know, good to go as a warrior once again i go up front take my speed advantage get in there and grab the aggros of the mobs first so guys once again i do think 200k hp is absolutely necessary for insane yeah definitely bring that hp in there and I'm predicting maybe 250 for Nightmare. It would probably help a lot if you guys bring in HP so you don't oof a lot. Even if you think you're a dodge god, it's just better to bring HP and not lose time. Okay, these groups are actually pretty easy as long as I go in there and grab aggro. You actually do a lot of damage to finish them off for me, Pineapple. I'm really surprised they came out with this map. Like, this map, it's so different from the other ones. It's so much more modernized. But I did notice that every single dungeon that did come out, almost all of the dungeons were getting more and more futuristic. No, I wouldn't say futuristic. It's just the time has passed and everything is more modernized. I wouldn't be surprised if they came out with a space map after this. It wouldn't be, even be that surprising since, of course, the cosmetic, they already came out with spacesuit, which is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Looks like... Looks like we did this group. That's another blind intersection right there. That corner is not that easy to avoid. You better heal up, Pineapple. And go in front. Let's grab aggro here. Bait out the group in the back. And gather them all up to save on time. You don't have to do this, guys. Uh, we're just trying to beat this as soon as possible. So we have one more mob group. Group mob. Before we face the final boss. Uh, the final boss also has a brand new... Uh, mechanic we're gonna see that very soon easy peasy and going on in rush we gotta I run it's on the right it usually is on the right okay the so the shield starts on the right i think i don't know Let's if it's test wrong. that theory nope it's on the left we were proven wrong <laughs> anyways Bye -bye. guys make sure you guys go grab the shield whenever the boss has a swirly twirly thing around him he's gonna blow up on us okay if you don't have enough hp he will one shot you and do watch out for these uh, purple circles. They are like underworld map. And if you stack too many of them, they will also do way too much damage. Why do you not go to it? <laughs> Why are you tanking it? <laughs> yeah, it does do a lot of damage. Yeah, no. yeah, with the YOLO right there. So just stay apart as much as you can. And definitely look for that blue shield and move to it if your HP is not high enough. Yeah, you, the blue shield doesn't protect you from the purple beams. It only protects you from his explosion attack. Oh my gosh, keep spinning again. Oh, avoid, avoid, and... Uh-oh. I'm gonna need a heal. I'm gonna go for that blue bubble. I'm gonna mm -hmm. have to always get that blue bubble because I don't think I can survive it. Not one shot from him. Oh. He's still actually... You can actually do damage to him when he actually has a twirly thing around him. Okay, I got him. Ooh. Nice. Nice, I got an axe. Wow, I've never seen that axe before. Yo, thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those notifications. Until we play again next time. Peace out, y'all.